Okay, Petty Young for Fishing Monthly magazines. I'm at Echuca in Victoria with Paul from Ease Extreme Marine. We're doing something a little bit different today because we've got, we do a lot of boat tests for the magazine. We tend to do fishing boats or offshore boats or those sort of things. Some are family orientated, some are fishing orientated, some of them are pleasure orientated, but I would suggest that this one's most probably something that Victorians people from New South Wales that love the Murray River, love a lot of the impoundments that are out there will enjoy. So um, we'll take you through the boat and we'll get Paul to explain the model and some of the features of it. Thanks Peter, yeah so we're uh, on the Harris pontoon boat here, this particular one's the Grand Mariner 230 SL single rear lounge floor plan. Absolutely beautiful boat, Harris have been making pontoon boats for uh, over 55 years so they're one of the pioneering pontoon manufacturers in the states um, with the states market very you know orientated around this particular style of boating so it's a little bit new to Australia um, Australians really you know obviously we need to get people on the water for them really to appreciate the benefits of a pontoon boat the versatility from fishing to water sports cruising um, you know we can get two to three families on board and all have a great day on the water together I think the one thing I mean Australians we love the water um, we love to take our families on the water, so a, a lot of the value of having a boat like this that has, I guess, some crossover where you can water ski from the back. Um, you could definitely tow a, a smaller tinny if you wanted to go out and do a little bit of lure casting or mm -hmm. those sort of things, but the fact of the matter is, is whoever's on the boat is going to be very comfortable and they're going to have a lot of fun. So we were, when we were launching it before and we are going through a few of the things, the one thing that impressed me is, is the fit out of the boat, the comfort you know, the, the attention to detail. So did you want to take us through this model, the base model, the top model, where does it fit in? So the Grand Mariner is second from the top in the model. Um, within the Grand Mariner, we have a couple of different um, sort of sizings, I suppose. This is the 230, as I mentioned before, relative to the length. Within the 230, we have a lot of different floor plans as well available. So we've certainly got floor plans all covered, um, you know, and, and so many different styles of boats for everyone's needs and requirements. Um, so this boat is second from the top as far as the, the level goes or the quality goes. Um, but a lot of the stuff you see on this boat is reflected through the lower boats and the ones above as well. So, you know, the quality even on the, on the base range, the cruiser range that we offer is, is certainly, you know, nothing to shy away from. So certainly great quality. There's lots of little knickknacks. Um, mm -hmm. We were looking at the, I guess, a change room of sorts earlier on so that um, I guess if you needed to go to the bathroom or if the ladies wanted somewhere private to get changed, that was pretty amazing. But there's also other things, just take me through, I guess, if we start at the back and we look at the, the seating and the storage, just take us through what's in there. Yeah, no worries, Peter. So the storage is one of the big key elements to the pontoon boats. We've got obviously an abundance of storage under seats, all self-draining, um, so you've got nice dry storage. We've also, some of the models offer inbuilt um, eskies as well, so fiberglass eskies with the drain trays as well. Um, as you mentioned, the change room, again that's an option on every boat available. Yep. Um, <clears throat> canvas canopy there pops down. Um, we've optioned quite a few with porta potties as well. Yep. So it keeps the ladies happy on a day out in the water. Yeah, so I guess the mm. versatility of the floor plan is you can structure it to what the person or the family wants really, isn't it? Exactly. I guess the other thing that's important in Australia, shade, so we've got Obviously the canopies above us, um, they certainly look like they put plenty of shade, mind you. It is, it is Victoria <laughs> in, uh, well, spring, so today's most probably not the day, but we've got a nice little bit of sunshine at the moment. I wanted to touch on the motor. Uh, we've got a, a Mercury Verado 300 on the back there. Um, a little bit of information about the motor, and, and I guess we've just had a run around. It certainly pushes this thing along nicely. Yeah, look, um, the Mercury really, you know, pair up well with the, Harris pontoon boats, this particular one, as you mentioned, has got the 300 Pro Verado, um, the L6 with the DTS, digital throttle and shift, along with the power steering. So um, as you experience yourself, it, it really is a pleasure to drive. You don't need a lot of experience to drive the boat and um, amazes a lot of people once you get them on the water that just how manoeuvrable a boat of this size is and, and its capabilities. And certainly <clears throat> comfort levels, I mean, you are literally, it feels like you're driving a small boat and yet it's a 300 and, and, and a relatively large vessel, isn't it? Definitely, yes. So, you know, that's a very big um, attraction for the whole family. So, you know, everyone can enjoy jumping behind the wheel. And just give people a bit of an indication, top speed that we got to before? 
Yeah, I think we saw about 48, you know, 49 mile an hour. So we're fairly getting along. So, you know. Yeah, so for a man that enjoys speed, I, <laughs> I saw the smile on your face pretty much straight away. Yeah, look, the, um, and again, the variety, the acceleration and the top speed and, you know, the performance of these boats is amazing. And that's what I suppose surprises a lot of people when they look at them on the trailer. Um, you get people out in the water and as soon as they're on the water, you know, you, you watch people's reactions and their facial you know, sort of reactions, and it's it's always a you know nice feeling to look across and yeah. see them smiling. I, I certainly know I smile. <laughs> we were talking about the trailer. As far as towing this and getting it from A to B and those sort of things, what what sort of vehicle weights? What sort of vehicle would you need? Yeah, so this particular one, being a bigger one with the 300 on it, larger pontoon. Um, this one weighs in a 267, so uh, you know anything with a three-ton towing capacity can tow it. Yep. Um, we brought it down here with the Hilux, no problems at all. Yep. Um, but yeah, another point you touched on earlier, Peter, is the dual biminis. Yes. Um, so this one has got the dual biminis that zip together to give you full shade. Yeah, rightio. We've also got the option of the side clears as well, so we can fully enclose it as well, yeah. um, which so is you another... You can almost get totally out of the elements if you need to. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, sort of you know, opens up boating to a few more months of the year. Excellent. I wanted to talk a little bit about the hull configuration. It's, <coughs> it's the tri hull on this one, or the trial pontoons, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call them. Um, the actual comfort of ride, you showed me a video before of, of some boats going pretty hard in pretty nasty water. Just explain how the hull configuration helps as far as what you're doing in the boat. So anything over a 150 we go what they call the tri-toon. Yep. Um, so that's obviously the third pontoon. Harris have got a unique design where the centre pontoon is slightly lower along with a few other bits and pieces with their lifting strakes and their underfloor protection. So it really enhances the performance of the boat. Um, as you saw earlier when we went over a little bit of wash, there's basically you know no no jarring, no movement through no. the boat. It's it's a very smooth riding boat. Yeah, it's very comfortable ride. There's no doubt about it. I was lucky enough uh, to be in the states a month ago for the annual dealer conference, and one of the testing grounds that they use there regularly, it's pretty much got a constant four foot, really short, messy chop, and um, you know we were out there and we were pushing close to 70 mile an hour in one through this chop. Um, so they, they handle it really well. Yeah, very good. Now, obviously, uh, we need to let people know how they can find you if they want to find more information. So how do they get in touch with you? Yeah, OK, so um, we're going to either jump on the website, which is www.harrispontoonboats.com.au. Yep. Um, or we can also uh, contact Extreme Marine, who's a dealer in Echuca. Um We are in negotiations and talking to some other dealers around the country as well. All right, so, so there you go. Something a little different, but there is no doubt the surprise on my face was pretty much from the launch all the way to the retrieve. Definitely worth a look at. So contact Paul and enjoy getting out on the water.